right. So it say R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison. What's today? Wednesday, right? After being convicted of racketeering and, you know, <coughs> African. Um, racketeering. So he was convicted of racketeering, racketeering and ex trafficking, right? Prosecutors has asked the judge to sentence Kelly 55 to more than 25 years behind bars, while his defense attorneys asked for 10 or fewer. The court heard impact statements from seven of Kelly's victims, right? So, um, this is interesting, right? Everything that's going on, right? We got all of these artists steady, like just steadily dropping like flies. You know what I'm saying? Um, something just happened yesterday. I don't know, but Vince Carter house was raided. We had a little TJ shot. We had some artists from, uh, you know, it's just a whole bunch of stuff piling up. Shah Jamal got locked up. Von Two Cut went to jail. Kevin Samuels passed. It's just a lot of stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden you come out of the woodwork with this. It's just like, bruh, R. Kelly, bro, like, I really don't be speaking on situations like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I can say this, right? Uh, if you don't want to be, if you don't want to go down that route, you know what I'm saying? Don't consider yourself to be any, to be in any type of activities like gymnastics or anything dealing with people that aren't your age. You know what I'm saying? Um, so just stay away from things like that if you feel like that's going to be a problem in your future. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as R. Kelly and, and and him getting 30 years, you know what I mean, for something like that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, hey, man, dude, to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying, there is bigger things that we could be worried about, but him in this specific situation, you know what I'm saying, even though I believe in what I believe, right, I don't really buy into a lot of that stuff, but I can't say this, right? Um, if that were to be the case, you know what I mean? You put yourself in that position. Nobody told you to go and, you know what I'm saying, go rob the cradle, so to speak, you know what I mean? It's like, bro, we got to stop acting like, um, we got to stop, really, we got to stop giving praise to people like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we look at, and what I mean by that is right this, you subconsciously praise a person like this, literally. You subconsciously praise them when you laugh at situations like this. You know what I'm saying? When you laugh at it, you take it as a joke. Your mind considers it as humor, you know what I'm saying? As not, as non, as not a threat, more of humor, you know what I'm saying? That's why you have to uh, take that dark humor outside of your mind as well because what it's doing is it's uh, breaking down your subconscious mind and allowing it to allow more things inside. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at situations like this, don't laugh at nothing like this because it ain't funny, you know what I'm saying? This is something that is going to carry on for centuries as long as people consider it funny. They, they won't do anything about it, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, to be honest, um, looking at a situation like this and not not applying anything different to your life, right? So if you know R. Kelly is doing this type of things, why would you go listen to somebody that is related to R. Kelly or even remotely related to R. Kelly or even makes the same songs or sounds as him? You feel what I'm saying? Because, you, like I said, as long as you find it funny, you're opening portals to things and situations that you didn't consciously want to happen. You know what I'm saying? Your subconscious is in control of your entire existence. But when you're looking at situations and people like this and you just you're not 
you know what I'm saying, a certain anything new in your life or your kids' lives, you know what I'm saying, you allow this person or these people to be in your kids' lives. Because you got to think, you laughing at R. Kelly, right? Now you can't determine or decipher whether this person in your life is an R. Kelly or a regular person. Because you have been subconsciously allowing this person in your life, deeming them as a non-threat. So now you, you know what I'm saying, you look at this person that's around you as a buddy. You're laughing and joking with them, you know what I'm saying? Instead of evaluating and, 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 and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Interviewing them, you know what I'm saying? You got to... You really got to start looking at everything for what it is and, and, and start to figure out how you cannot see messages like this anymore in your life. You feel me? Um, it's something that I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't think it's funny. You know what I mean? People like this live in your neighborhoods and you just laughing and think nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and we wonder why a lot of things be happening and, and people go missing, right? Because you listen to these songs and you allow this music to be played in your community, in your vicinity, around your kids, around your uh, um, cousins, them, you know what I'm saying? And you don't do nothing about it. You let the radio play when your kids hop in the car so they subconsciously agree to the things and put themselves in situations because, you know what I'm saying, the music sounded good and that was a sound that I heard before. I thought this was a trustworthy person. Like, it's like, bro, are, are you serious? Like, literally, you get yourself into the street. Like, have, you can't tell me you didn't ride down the street, hear a song that you heard on the radio before, and then somebody was playing it out their song, out their car, and you didn't go nod your head, right? So that's more of a chance for them to approach you now because they've created a vibration that you succumb to, you know what I'm saying? This is like, it's all... <laughs> Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, I know so much, bro. It's all a game, right? So you got to understand the vibration of that sound. It gets so addicting that whoever is playing it, now they can have a part of your reality um, uh, uh, at a small rate because you like this song because you haven't been um, adjusting it, what you would consider to be programming in your life, right? So if you don't program yourself, you know what I'm saying? You walk around getting programmed, you feel me? And it's like, we got to understand, like, as, like I said, as long as it's funny and humorous to you, you'll never do anything about it, you feel me? So, um, we got to understand that, uh, we are all we got, you know what I'm saying? And as long as you allow others to pretty much dictate how your subconscious mind works, you don't have anybody. You just have yourself at that moment at, for your life. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nobody who really understands you because they don't understand themselves because they have been listening to music that tells them to look at other people in, in, instead of inside themselves, right? So they don't look in the mirror. They like to look past the mirror and into the portal and get lost in the mirror. This is why people stand in the mirror so long, feeling like they beautiful or whatever. They get lost in themselves, right? They don't really find the true their true selves, but they get lost within the uh, the meat, the physicality of themselves, right? So, um, I know this was more of an informative video, more than an R. Kelly video, but I just wanted to let y'all know, like. Dude, don't look at any artist's situation and just take it like, oh, ha, 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 laugh it, laugh it off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they're this, and just away with it. Why would they be showing you that they're this if they're not intending on getting you to subconsciously do something? You know what I'm saying? So each time you hear something or see something, you know what I'm saying? And I got... A, something good for a lot of people, right? It's an opportunity coming, you know what I'm saying? At first, I was going to only do it for a, a certain individuals, 